Hey, Dave. How you doing? Hey, Adam. Hey, I um, wanted to ask you about Tommy Townsend. The last time we talked to you, you had two punters. Now you've got one. What? Why were you so confident, Tommy, that he could be your guy? And what have you seen with uh, from him since camp started? Well, we saw we originally saw Tommy at the combine, and, and Combi, I, I mean, Tommy, I felt like he was the best uh, punter at the combine. Uh, had a had a draftable grade on him. Uh, obviously, he wasn't drafted, so he was a guy that we uh, went after uh, real strong and. Uh, those guys did a great job of being able to get him in our building, and I'm really happy with his performance so far. He's done a great job. He's really consistent. He's he really bombs the ball. He he gets the ball off quick. He's athletic. Uh, you know, he's he's everything you're looking for. Let's go to Matt Derrick. Go ahead, Matt. Hey, Coach. I'm just curious. You know, with the the shortened time frame and the fewer practices that you have, how difficult is it going to be to fit some of the rookies into what you're doing in in special teams? And how much do you miss those preseason games, trying, you know, figuring out what they can do under the lights? Yeah, there's, there's a lot there. I, I tell you, it's, it's going to be real tough for the rookies. I told them on day one that, uh, you know, you have to do it in practice. I mean, you're, you're going to have to really show out in practice. And uh, the guys have been doing a good job uh, of that. And, uh, you know, not having preseason games for those guys, it, it's tough because that's their resume. That's, that's how they, you know, they put it out there, what, exactly what they are, you know, those plays. And, they're not going to be able to have that. So it's, it's unfortunate for them. It's a, it's a different year uh, for us. We have to make decisions, and, and it's going to be tough for us to make those decisions. But uh, they're, they're definitely out there working hard and, and doing their best. Let's go to Pete Sweeney. Go ahead, Pete. Hey, Dave. Thanks for taking some time uh, with us. I was curious when it came to um, the name Justin Shelton Mosley. This isn't someone really we, we've heard a lot about, and I was wondering if you could just provide some insight as to – uh, what you could potentially think he could bring to the return game and just your units as a whole. Yeah, he's been working as a returner. He, he's a punt returner, kick returner, and I think right now he's doing very well. I mean, he's he's as good as ever, all the other guys we've gotten in there, and uh, you know he's he's got a good burst, and uh, he just he's a, a kid that's out there working hard. And uh, like I said, it's going to be real tough for these guys without the preseason games. You you want to see him in a preseason game under the under the under the fire of a live uh, kickoff coverage or punt coverage, you know, and. They're just not going to get be able to get that because we can't resemble that. We can't do that in practice. You know, we, we try to get as close as we can, but we can't really do it. But but uh, he's he's doing a nice job for us. Let's go to Sarin Petro. Go ahead, Sarin. Uh, Coach, a couple things. One uh, has have you had to adjust the time that you're putting in as special teams? The fact that the, the you know the no mini camp, no OTAs. Uh, does that mean more time, or because of no mini camps, OTAs is less time, or just the same? And then. Uh, you know, you talk about the personnel side of things uh, and how it all works. Uh, is, is there a different mindset because, you know, they're not playing football really anywhere and guys, you might not be able to just go grab a guy off the street and, and plug and play in the past. So do you have to maybe back off even more to make sure you keep your team healthy uh, for, for the season? Yeah, those are a lot of questions there, but uh, really the first one, I, I think uh, we don't, we don't, have less time at all. And we, we still have the same amount of time, you know, that we've always had. In fact, the ramp up period was really good because the ramp up period allowed us to, to kind of put in what we would normally do during the OTAs and, you know, and, and those things. So that was, uh, that was good time for us. And, and that, that, you know, be able to teach fundamentals for those young guys is, is critical. Uh, now, you know, we're getting into more of the team and the scheme stuff of it. And, uh, now they put all those fundamentals together and we get to see, you know, what kind of football players these guys are, uh, you know, and, and like I said, it's, it's unfortunate for those guys that there's no preseason games, but we have to, we have to do the best we can, you know, in the team periods that we, that, you know, we have to evaluate these guys and, and, and make decisions. Now, now, you know, the, the other guys are going to have leg up the guys that we've had before, you know, that, that are game proven, you know, those guys are going to have leg up and that's just the way it is. Let's go to Nate Taylor. Go ahead, Nate. Hey Dave, good to see you. I hey, I have I have three questions for you. Um, three. I know one. How does Willie Gay look? You mentioned that he would be in the you sort of the core four. Uh, there's a couple days where you had Tommy do kickoffs. Just wondering uh, what you think of that. Maybe being an option in the regular season. And third, behind you know McColl being the primary return guy, uh, who have you who's impressed you so far? Okay. As being maybe a, a possibility as a returner. Yeah, first of all, uh, Willie, Willie's doing great. I mean, he's, you know, he's, he, like I said, he will be a four-phase guy for us starting out. That, as any draft pick would be, they start off as a, as a core special teams player until they're not. You know, until he, if he earns a starting job on defense, we'll have to cut him back. 
you know, on some of the uh, phases that he's playing. But right now, he's a he's a four phase guy, and uh, you know, I'm, I'm very very impressed with his, um, you know, the way he's come along. He's a uh, smart guy, and he's, uh, you know, he plays fast. I mean, that's one thing you don't have to say. You don't have to ever tell him to play faster because he plays as fast as can be, uh, which is a good quality to have in special teams. Uh, the other thing you asked about uh, Tommy kicking off, uh, Tommy kicked off that day because we wanted to rest Bucker's leg. I mean, okay. Buck, Bucker's our main kickoff guy. Uh, but Tommy, like I said, he can do a lot of different things. You know, he can kick off. He can kick field goals. Uh, but Bucker is the number one in my mind is the best right. kickoff man in the league. I mean, nobody can hang the ball like Bucker can. He, he can kick any kick that you ask him to do. Uh, you know, so we're, we're not going to, we're not going to put him on the sideline. That's for sure. Uh, but Tommy is, is somebody that can come in and, and he can do it all, you know, and, and, and we're very pleased with Tommy. Uh, the other, what was the other question? Uh, the last one. And lastly, just, um, with, you know, obviously McColl keeping the return yeah, yeah, job as we know it, who has impressed you behind him so far in camp? Well, I mean, you know, we still got Demarcus Robinson. I mean, I, I feel good. He's our number two guy, uh, you know, and, and then we have other guys, you know, Dieter can do it and Pringle can do it. Uh, really, really all the standby guys that we've had before. I mean, those, those are the guys that, that I'm looking towards. Uh, you know, again, I mean, I, you know, if we had preseason games, I'd be getting those other guys ready a lot more. I mean, I, I mean, it's just unfortunate for those guys. And I told them, uh, you know, it, it's unfortunate they're not, you're not going to be able to see those guys in games. So, uh, you know, that's where we stand right now is, is really pretty much the guys that we have in, in, in the past. And obviously, I can always, I can always throw Tyreek back there, you know, when, I, when we need a big one. <laughs> uh, looks like we've got two more hands up. Let's go Herbie and then finish with Matt Derrick. Go ahead, Herbie. Hey, Coach, I only have one question for you. <laughs> as, as far as Tommy Townsend is concerned, and I know you mentioned how he can punt the ball, but I'm curious how, how the dynamics are going in that three-man battery between James Winchester and Harrison Butker as far as getting the, the chemistry down to, to hold down the snap. Yeah, that's, that's a great question. I probably should have touched on that. You know, I talked about how strong his leg is and how athletic he is, but I'm going to tell you what, he's doing a great job with his hands. He's got, he's got very soft hands, and he's a natural catcher. Uh, it's been so smooth. You know, and, and I mean, it, it's a credit to those guys because they worked hard. They, they were uh, during the off season, they worked together and they, they did stuff on their own. And, you know, they came in here at a high level. They weren't they didn't come in here, uh, you know, just starting out. So uh, it's a credit to Tommy. It's a credit to Bucker, how much work they did during the off season, you know, to get to this point. Let's go to Matt Derrick to close it out. Go ahead, Matt. Coach, on the other extreme from the rookies, you've got a lot of veterans on your special teams coming back. Yeah. How much comfort does that give you? And, and even getting a guy back like this week, like Marcus Kemp, that, you know, played really well for you in 18. Yeah, it, it does. It gives me a, a lot of comfort. Uh, I, I'd say I, right now, I think we have seven four-phase starters and, and every one of them played, you know, in the Super Bowl or, or towards the end of the season. So uh, I'm in pretty good shape there. You know, we got to stay healthy. Uh, you know, they all have to make the team. I mean, that's – there's every, every year they have to make the team. So – um, you know, I, I feel pretty good where we're at, though, you know, with our depth on special teams.